Hi everybody, it's Kadzo with Kadzoe for Africa and welcome to the most exciting series out there which is an opportunity for you as an F1 student to explore in 2017 what companies are hiring you uh, through different mechanisms. So today I will talk about the top five states in 2017 that hired international students. And if you are a new international student uh, to the U.S. and would like to know where you should apply to go to school, these are definitely the states for you. So let's get right to it here. And so the number one state that hired uh, the most F1 students to the H-1B visa status is the state of California. Um, California uh, filed about eight, um, 119,744 labor condition applications. These are requests for F1 students to be able to get the H-1B work visa. The average salary in California in 2017 for international students working there is $100,542. So that remains a top state. It is not unusual. And so definitely think about California as you're looking at either your job search or if you are outside the country and are looking for options within the U.S. All right. State number two is Texas, which is quite interesting. Texas has actually been rising out there um, over the years. It's been a very competitive state when it comes to providing opportunities for uh, international students on the F-1 visa. Um, Texas in 2017 filed 68,460 labor condition applications. And the average salary in Texas is 79,940 uh, US dollars. So this is on average what um, international students were making in Texas who were actually sponsored. So. Uh, another state to think about. Here's what's interesting about Texas as well that would be useful for you as an international student. Texas has a low cost of living as compared to California, so something for you to think about as well. Um, when you're looking at housing expenses and cost of food and, and housing and, 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 and all that. All right, and state number three is, and everybody loves this state, it's New York. All right, so New York State uh, filed uh, 58,660 uh, labor condition applications for F-1 students to move into H-1B. The average salary in New York uh, for this international students in 2017 is 92,567 U.S. dollars. So this is on average what um, international students were making. Um, and New York is a great state. A lot of people love New York City. One of the things about New York, even though it's really, really competitive, it's very, very diverse. So if you're looking for a little bit of home and you're an international student exploring states, that is something definitely a state that you can look at. Top state number four is New Jersey. Uh, New Jersey actually uh, filed 48,365 labor condition applications in 2017. The average salary in New Jersey was $78,908. Um, and so New Jersey is a great state. You know, one of the things about New Jersey is for those of you that find um, New York City to be a little bit expensive, competitive for you to be able to get um, a great scholarship because you know everybody wants to go to New York so you may not be able to get all the scholarships that you need. I highly would advocate for New Jersey because if you live in places like Hoboken you will just be a ferry ride away from Manhattan and so um, it's on the border for New York, uh, New York City and New York State rather and New York City as well. So definitely look at New Jersey as you explore opportunities. All right, and last but not least, state number five in the U.S. in 2017 that had the most labor condition applications is Illinois. And Illinois, this is where the fabulous Chicago is. They call it Oprah City. You guys know that that's where they shot the Oprah show was in Chicago. They call it the Windy City. It's a great um, state. 
and Illinois filed 35,177 labor condition applications in 2017, and the average salary was 81,000 842 US dollars and so not bad um, especially for the Midwest that price is actually quite comfortable um, you will be able to do all you need to do get into your first job maybe help people at home if you need to you know how us international students do and so that's a great state to consider as well and so that's it those are the top five states in 2017 that uh, filed a labor the most labor condition applications for international students on F1 visa looking into the H1B. Remember, I shared this information with you because when I was an international student many, many years ago, I didn't have this information. It, and, and it was so nice now, especially with changing laws and policies, that you have a guided um, approach to where you live, where you go to school, and where you job search. And so hopefully this video is helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you want me to continue doing these kinds of videos. I've been getting a lot of emails that these videos are helpful for you. So give it a thumbs up if you like it. Remember, if you are interested in getting a list of schools in the United States that offer scholarships for international students, please subscribe to my channel. I'm more than happy to send you that initial list. If you would like a consultation, a one-to-one, -one, where we search for you two to three schools based on your major that offer full scholarships, please send me an email and I'm happy to set that up for you. A consultation is only $30 and we will do the work for you as well. Again, this is Kadza for Africa. Thank you for watching. And remember, education is the key to your success. And until my next video, I'll see you later, everybody. Bye now.